Hey guys and girls, it's Nathan Birch here from the Be Invested headquarters and today I'm just looking at some more properties of what we've secured for our clients in recent times. Uh, so this property here, uh, if you've been watching the rest of the Vault videos, uh, you probably know that you know, some of them aren't the best looking properties, some of them are pretty cool, some of them aren't as so cool looking, uh, but one thing is sure is that they all make money. And there's three ways to make money or two ways to really to make money on property. One is capital growth, and one is cash flow. And uh, you know, when setting out to build a property portfolio, it's important to have a plan uh, and to know exactly what you're out to achieve and then to obviously buy properties in line with your goals. So uh, today I'm looking at a property on the Central Coast. It's a two bedroom townhouse uh, in a very prime sort of location near the water. And uh, there's a lot of redevelopment happening in the area. I think the zoning of this allows up to six stories worth of um, of, of unit construction. Uh, this is in a block of uh, eight, I believe. And uh, we purchased this one in May 2017 uh, for $360,000. And uh, looking at recent sales and other properties currently on the market, there's another one in there that sold for 450,000. And to find a two bedroom townhouse in this location for that price, there's just nothing around. So you're probably looking around the 420 000 to 450,000 for a two bedroom townhouse uh, in this location on the Central Coast. Rent on that, I think it rents for 360 per week. Uh, so what we're looking at here is a fairly neutral cash flow property, uh, very solid foundations for this property. And uh, you know, obviously we're always looking for uh, you know, upside for growth potentials. Um, being an hour from the Sydney market, from Sydney CBD, sorry, um, one hour from Sydney CBD, it's not too far out. There's lots of infrastructure projects that are being conducted at present, uh, as well as the cash flow is, uh, is quite strong in it. So this thing here, um, I do believe that the purchaser of this property uh, went back and pulled out the equity uh, pretty much straight away. And uh, given the fact that the market at the moment of uh, filming this is a little bit softer than what it was in the past, uh, this just goes on to show that you know, there are opportunities out there. Doesn't matter if you're buying in a, in a heated market or in a cooler market. And I'm loving this market that we're in at the moment because prices you know, are being soft out there and finding these opportunities is a matter of being able to you know, understand where the opportunities lay and, uh, and how you can actually take advantage of them from being able to fund them and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a fantastic sort of time uh, out there in the marketplace. I love when the media is negative. I love when people are scared. Um, just because more so that you know people make silly decisions and there's not as many you know uh, buyers or, or people out there to take advantage of the opportunities and you know you can really clean up in this sort of marketplace uh, a very similar market to what we're seeing at the moment uh, occurred back in 2007 2006 2007 2008 uh, just pre gfc and uh, during the GFC, the early days. Uh, but what happened in the coming uh, years from the GFC, what happened is lots of money got printed and uh, it was more readily available to get access to liquidity. Whenever liquidity dries up, there's problems in any sort of market, whether it's a property market or any sort of global uh, financial markets. And that's the time where you want to be taking advantage of opportunities. And I'm seeing these markets you know, show cracks and pressures at, at that point, but for how long uh, the market will be soft and for as long as how long will there be uh, you know, opportunities and bargains out there. There will always be an opportunity and always be a bargain, but I'd rather be paying you know, a cheaper price than a more expensive price. And this is certainly a market to be able to achieve those sort of results. And you know, this thing here, going through from the, from the sort of peak of the market back to where we are now, um, this, this purchaser of this property has uh, made almost $100,000. So you can make money in any sort of market even in a falling market. So uh, if you need help on that front, you need help locating properties, you need help structuring your portfolio, uh, feel free to give me a call or my office will call, 1300 367 925, uh, or email my team on admin at and we'll be happy to help you out and put you in the right direction. We'll catch up soon, have an awesome day. Bye for now.